But that's simply not possible. Why isn't it possible? It's just not. Why not, you stupid bastard? Hello and welcome back to the series. In today's video I'm gonna find out, is it possible to install Windows 98 on a real modern PC? Is it possible? Let's find out. In the first video I was trying to install Windows 88 on Intel i 9 k and Z390 motherboard. To understand what will happen in this video, please watch the first part. If you haven't done it yet, all links will be in the description. We have Intel i9 4900K Asus Z790H motherboard, NVIDIA RTX 4070, 32 gigabytes of DDR5 memory, and PCI Express 4.0 NVMe SSD with 2 terabytes of capacity. Okay, first we need to write Windows 98 image on any USB stick. Yes, we can use a thumb drive. We can use a thumb drive to boot Windows 88 setup, and also we can install Windows 88 on it. And of course, to boot Windows 88, we must enable CSM and BIOS, otherwise it won't boot. Okay, now we need to press F8 to access boot menu. And here we must select our thumb drive with Windows 88 installation files. Okay, great. Here we must select the first item and Windows 88 logo appears. Now we must type CD, Win98, then Setup and Enter. Scan disk error appears. Setup column run scan disk. We need to press escape to continue. And we have the same error like it was in the first video. Not enough free memory. By the way, we have 32 gigabits of DDR5 memory. Looks like it's not enough to run Windows 88. We have solved this issue using XMGR driver. This method first were shown on my KC channel. All we need is to copy XMGR.sys to our thumb drive. Then open config.sys and type here device equals xmjar.sys. Then save changes and try to boot again. Selecting thumb drive again. Scan disk is working now. And the setup begins, but my mouse and my keyboards are not working at all. It's all because of USB 3.2 drivers, which of course Windows 88 installation doesn't have. So I decided first to install Windows 88 on Intel i9 9900K and then boot Windows 88 on 14900K from the same drive where it's already installed. Okay, we are now on the second PC, Z390 motherboard and i9 9900K. Let's boot from USB drive. And we are stuck on scan disk now. To increase chances of running Windows 88 on a modern PC, it's better to use these setup parameters. For example, is We'll skip scan disk and then we'll skip checking minimal requirements. And now our keyboard is working properly. Of course, because of our Z390 motherboard has PS2 port. We'll go next, typical install, next, next, and the setup begins. Also, you may notice we have artifacts. Funny about GTX 1080 has artifacts, but 4070 doesn't. We are stuck again on 28%. It's okay, we just need to try to run installation again. Okay, great, now the setup continues. The second stage of installation begins. Windows 88 logo appears and... Oh no, the error message appears. Insufficient memory to initialize Windows. If you were watching the previous video, you should remember we have solved this issue by using special patch for memory called PatchMem, which was created by Rudolf R. Lowe. So let's try to use it. All we need is to copy HMM folder to USB stick and run HMM. That's all. Now we can continue the installation. The installation continues. And we have the same error like it was in the first video while initializing the device vCache Windows protection error. Recently, one of channel subscribers have sent me this post. It says vCache error can be solved by changing this value. Also, we need to place this file into autoexec.bat. And as you can see, the author has succeeded with Windows 88 installation on 12th Intel generation. Is it real? Let's find out. And let's try again. Let's see what will happen. And another error message appears. Are you serious? My god. VDD error. What the hell is that mean? Looks like it means video device driver. Or in simple terms, the cause of this is our GPU, GTX 1080. In this post, the author was mentioned it's better to use an old GPU card, not a modern. That's why I will use this old GPU 
NVIDIA GeForce 6800JS from 2004. I think it should fit perfectly. Let's try. No way. It's impossible. So it means in the first video, I was so close. Amazing. I can't believe it. Okay, this is the second stage of installation. Basically, it means Windows 8 will run 100%. But unfortunately, we are stuck again on Windows 8 logo. Like it was in the first video. Anyway, the second stage of installation is finished. So now we can try to connect our thumb drive with Windows 8 to a real modern PC. With the dollar 9 4900K. Let's see what will happen. It works? But how is it possible? It won't work on Z390 MSI motherboard, but it works on Asus Z790 chipset. It's amazing. Looks like SIM option on Asus motherboards is working better than on MSI motherboards. But unfortunately, my mouse and my keyboard are not working at all. So we can't control Windows 88. In the comments section, you, my subscribers, ask me to try to use these adapters, which can help in this situation. I mean, to control Windows XP or Windows 98. And I bought them. The first is PCI Express 2 PS2 adapter. It works well in BIOS, in Windows 10 and Windows 11, but it doesn't work in Windows XP or Windows 88. I think it's because of chipset drivers. The second one is PCI Express to USB adapter. It has Windows XP support, but we have the same picture. It works in BIOS, in Windows 10 and Windows 11, but again it doesn't work in Windows 88. The third one is PCI Express LAN adapter. It doesn't work too. I've even ordered a PCI Express to PCI adapter, including USB 2.0 PCI adapter. It works perfectly in BIOS, Windows 10 and Windows 11. But unfortunately again, it doesn't work in Windows 88 either. I think it happens because of chipset drivers. Because of them, Windows 88 can detect any plugged device in PCI Express slot. So the only way to control Windows 88 is to use an old input device, PS2 port for example, which of course our modern motherboard doesn't have. So what are we are gonna do? You won't believe it, I've bought one of the cheapest Asus modern motherboard on H600M chipset and it has 700 socket. That's how it looks. And look at this, it has two PS2 ports. It means we can control Windows 88 without any problems. So all we need now is to connect 14900K to this motherboard and try to run Windows 88. I think it should work because it works on Z790 chipset. So it's logical to assume it should work on H610M chipset too. Let's see what will happen. So my cringe PC setup is ready. As you can see here, it's even support DDR5 memory. Can you imagine this cheap motherboard? As I told you before, we can use only an old GPU, otherwise we will get VDD error. Here we have our USB stick with Windows 98 installed. Also we have PS2 mouse and PS2 keyboard. So let's get started. Okay, great, it's working well. As you can see, our CPU was detected successfully. We don't need to update BIOS, which is great. 32 GB of RAM was detected easily. The VGA card is not supported by UFI driver. It's okay, we don't need it. CSM was automatically turned on. That's good. Okay, let's enter into BIOS. Okay, now we need to boot from our USB stick. Pressing F8 on Asus motherboards. Okay, let's get do it. Come on. Yes, it works. I can't believe it. And my mouse and my keyboard are working well. Great. Ladies and gentlemen, Windows 8 on Intel i9 4900K. Amazing experience, isn't it? Look how great it looks on a modern monitor. Incredible. Imagine you're using 1998 PC with Windows 88 and somehow your CPU changes to 4900K, one of the top CPUs in 2024. And now in this video, you will know what will happen if it were so. Okay, go now to computer properties. And here we have Pentium 3 CPU. Obviously, Windows 88 doesn't know how to name a CPU which is from the future. And we have only 2 GB of RAM. By the way, we have 32 GB of DDR5 memory installed. Anyway, it's a miracle that it works somehow. 
it works pretty fast. Well, next let's check device manager. Looks like all drivers were installed. We even have dial-up adapter, which of course our motherboard doesn't have. Of course, here we must forget about USB drivers, audio drivers, etc. It's all because of chipset drivers. For this motherboard, we have only Windows 10 drivers. But if you remember, our GPU is old and it has Windows 95, 98 display drivers. So let's install it. Okay, the first problem is occurred. As you can see, my mouse is working, but my keyboard are not working at all. Oh, everything works now. What the hell it was? It just stuck for a minute. It's stuck again. Very strange. Okay, maybe we need to wait for a while. What the hell does that mean? Okay, it's okay now. Let's install the driver. Oh no, the wrong driver. It's very strange, but for some unknown reason. Drivers for Windows 88 for this type of GPU. Impossible to install. But don't worry, because almost all old games will run here without any trouble. Before testing old games, let's start CPU-Z. To see how our CPU was detected. And it's working well as you can see here. We have Intel i9 4900K and Windows 98. And I'm still can't believe it. 4900K in Windows 98. It just blows my mind. Here as you can see the core speed is 3200 MHz. Looks like only additional cores are working. And we have only one core. I may be wrong, but does Windows 98 support only one core? If you know the answer, please leave it in the comment section. And yes, we have only one core and one thread. Funny but as you can see here, the core voltage is 1.3 volt. It's great, because Intel i9 4900K isn't degrading in Windows 88, according to the latest news. I mean, if you will have 1.5 and higher volts, the degrading process will begin. So it's safe to use Windows 88 on i9 4900K. Go next, let's check main board panel. Here we have the same motherboard. Go to memory panel. We have only 2GB of RAM. Go next, SPD. No information here. Graphics. There is no information here too. Go to bench panel. Let's benchmark our CPU. And compare, for example, with Intel Pentium 166. Oh nice, we have made progress in 25 years. Go next, let's start AIDA32. And we have a B-SAD, but don't worry, we can skip it by pressing Enter button. For some unknown reason, say the 32 won't work. So next, let's open display properties. And we have only two colors or 16 colors. And we can't uh, set the resolution. We can set it only to this value. Of course, it happens because of GPU drivers. What about internet connection? Unfortunately, we can't do it because of chipset drivers. Windows 8 won't be able to detect any devices plugged to our motherboard. Okay, now let's try to play old games. But let's try to run Blood, one of the greatest games ever made. It has a lot of easter eggs, references and secrets, even super secrets. Soon we'll film the video about it. All is working well. The only issue we have, we don't have a sound. Go next, let's try to run Doom. It's working great too. I can't even imagine playing Doom on Windows 88 using one of the most modern CPUs in 2024 after 25 years. Amazing. Go next, let's try to run Duke Nukem 3D. And it's working properly too. Great. Go next, let's try to run Half-Life Uplink. It's working well on every operating system I have ever installed. I don't know why, but Windows 88 is working not so fast as I expected. Maybe it's because we have only one core and one thread. Or maybe it's because we are booting from USB stick. Obviously, it's better to install it on a SSD drive. For those who don't believe it's real, here is my second PC. That's how it looks. And here we have Intel 14900K with Windows 98 installed. All we need is to change HDMI port. And now we have Windows 98. Let's try to run Half-Life Uplink. And unfortunately, the error message appears. It happens because of GPU drivers. And also, we need to install DirectX version 6 or above. Unfortunately, I have only DirectX 2010. I see no reason to run other old games, because most of them will run properly. I still can't believe it's possible to install Windows 98 on i9-4900K. But it works. 
all guides and files how to install Windows 38 on a modern PC, you can find on my Patreon page. You can support my channel and find all the necessary information. This video exists only because of MadKC channel, page member Rudolf R. Low, and thanks to the cache fix on Round Sound channel. That's all right in the comments section. What next operating system you want me to install? If you enjoyed this video, press the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. See you later. Bye.